So if you're looking to either take your relationship to the next level, or maybe it's a commitment or a proposal, or you'd like to manifest in a relationship by that time, this video is for you. Let's start out by talking about setting a deadline for yourself, because when you say something needs to happen by a certain date, that is an element of a deadline. And that creates a certain state. So we want to shift from that to this, to the state where I already have. So how do you do that? There are a number of suggestions that you can follow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I am a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about what to do if you'd like to manifest your desired relationship or the next level in your relationship by Valentine's Day. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I have both email and video coaching. So if you'd like to receive some support in manifesting your desires or you need help in releasing any of your blocks, you definitely want to check out all my coaching options. They are all in the description below. And I have multiple other products that you can look at. They're all in the description, including as well some free resources. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So today's video is inspired by one of my clients and subscribers who requested a video on Valentine's Day on manifesting your desired relationship by Valentine's Day. So if you're looking to either take your relationship to the next level or maybe it's a commitment or a proposal, or you'd like to manifest in a relationship by that time, this video is for you. Let's start out by talking about setting a deadline for yourself, because when you say something needs to happen by a certain date, that is an element of a deadline. And that creates a certain state. A deadline means there's pressure. There's this pressure to do get something by a certain date. So that is a state of consciousness because, or an identity. You're identified with not having and needing that to change by a certain date. So we want to shift that inner state or that identification from one of lack and pressure to one of wish fulfilled of having because they're two different states. So if you were already in the state of the wish fulfilled, let's say you already had your relationship or you already got that proposal or you're already at that level in your relationship already from today, today's mid, mid January, would you really be worried about Valentine's Day? Would you really have that deadline? Are you going to feel any sort of pressure? Unless you're someone who's very romantic and you like to plan things ahead and you, you know, you want to get a head start on things. Generally, you're not thinking about it. Or unless you're planning to travel somewhere, you're maybe working on planning. So we want to shift from that to this, to the state where I already have. So how do you do that? How do you shift from this state to the state? There are a number of suggestions that you can follow. The first one is you assume that you're already on that day and you already have your desire. So you can say, I'm so happy now that it's Valentine's Day and I already got my proposal or I've been proposed to or I am in my loving, committed relationship. So you're on that day and it's done. You're implying to your subconscious mind that you're already on that day and you've achieved your desire. You're not putting, there's no pressure because you're not moving towards it. You're not saying I have manifested my desired relationship by Valentine's Day. 
it's today Valentine's Day, I have already achieved my desire. This removes the pressure. This puts you in the state of the wish fulfilled. You already are on that day. You're not anticipating that day coming and feeling the pressure of it. You're already on that day and it's done. So you repeat that and you're getting it probably in advance of that day. So that's the first way you can do this. The second way you can deal with this is to plan for it. So this is also a state of the wish fulfilled because if you were already in a relationship or you already have that desired outcome, whatever it is you want to manifest as next level in your relationship, you're probably going to be planning for it. You want to make it special. It's a romantic date. Maybe you're traveling somewhere. So you're planning for it. So what you can do today is plan for it. Now, I'm not telling you to go book any reservations or actually pay for something from now because that may create added pressure. But what you can do is research. If you were today, mid-January, planning for that date, what would you do? You'd probably be planning, if that, to be honest. To be honest, you're probably not even thinking about it, which is going to take me to the third one. But this one is for people who, let's say, are planners. They want it to be special. They want it to be like this really romantic date. You could be planning for it from now. So research. Research places where you'd go out for dinner. Research places where you could travel to, perhaps. Research experiences you can have. And maybe you're doing research on what you'd be wearing, how you'd, you know, get your hair done and all that. So that is the second thing that you can be doing. The third thing you can be doing is just not making Valentine's Day an issue to begin with. Because I want to remind you that if you were already in the state of the wish fulfilled, let's say you were already married, you already got proposed to, you already have all that. You're not really thinking about Valentine's Day. Generally, the people who are thinking about Valentine's Day are the people who don't have the relationship because they are wanting that relationship and Valentine's Day is a symbol of having someone. So when you're in it, you're not really thinking about that if that makes sense, unless you are someone who's very romantic, who loves to plan in advance. That's not everyone, right? So the third one is to make Valentine's Day a non-issue because every day is really a Valentine's Day. If you already are today with the person or you're in that commitment that you want, you've already been proposed to or you're already married to them, Valentine's Day is just another day. Right. So you're not really going to make an issue of it. So just remove it from your focus and attention. So that would be a third way of dealing with it. Remind yourself that Valentine's Day is most likely an issue for someone when they are in lack. Mostly. I mean, other than if someone is really romantic or they just started their relationship and it's new and they want it to be special, they're not thinking that far ahead for it. Just try to talk yourself into the assumption that I'm going to have so many Valentine's Day or every day is a Valentine's Day. Try to convince yourself of why, you know, it's really not that important. Again, you know, you can always go for the first option or the second option if it's really very important to you. So that is a third way of doing it because in the end, it may not really be that big of a deal when you are already in the state of the wish fulfilled. So this is in a nutshell, the three ways you can deal with this. Remember, it's all about your, what you're identified with. It's a state of consciousness. Putting a deadline for yourself is a state of consciousness coming from lack or pressure. It's a pressure more than anything. So you kind of want to release that pressure and shift from being in a state of consciousness where there's a lot of pressure or identified with a state of having a lot of pressure to having. You just have it. 
and so this is what you want to tap into i hope you liked this video if you did then please like comment and share and i look forward to seeing you again in the next video